Hi, I'm Arthur Hughes. Today we're going to take a look at Autodesk's Photo Scene Editor version 2. Autodesk says that with a standard digital camera, you can take a series of pictures around an object and submit the photos to them where they will then process it and return to you a high density, high resolution, high quality 3D computerized model with all the texture maps and everything included. So I thought today we'd give that a little test. What we're going to do is we have here a plaster Mastiff uh, figurine. It's got a few scratches in it so that we'll be able to tell what kind of detail that we get with this and uh, I think it'll be fun. So why don't we go ahead and shoot some pictures and take a look at uh, Photo Scene Editor version 2. The online shooting guide says to take photos at 5 to 10 degree increments all the way around. Also shoot detail pictures. You can also shoot at different angles. Remember, the more pics provided, the more detail it can achieve. Now that we have our pictures done, it's time to open the software. When you open Photo Scene Editor, you will get a screen that looks like this. Choose Create a New Photo Scene. Navigate to the folder your pictures are located. Select the entire sequence and then click on Open. Once you have selected your pictures, you will then go back to this screen that shows the number of pictures selected for upload. Click on the green arrow where it says Compute Photo Scene to begin upload of your pictures. You will need to be connected to the internet. The next screen gives you the option to wait for the model or to have an email notification when it is ready for download. In this example, I waited and it took about 15 minutes for it to be processed and returned. First it uploads your photos, then it processes at Autodesk Server Farm, then it downloads the scene back to your computer for you to use. Once the file downloads, it brings in a draft resolution mesh and an animation path with its camera locations. Go ahead and turn off the camera icons. Now you have just the draft resolution mesh and your navigation tools should be available so you can rotate the view. This draft resolution mesh looks pretty good so hit the button in the upper right that says mesh quality draft. You will get a dialog box that gives you a couple of options for mesh resolution. Pick standard and click OK. You will then return to the processing screen to reprocess and download your scene. The standard quality mesh that comes back looks real good. There are some parts of the base that we don't need and that is easy to fix. Rotate your view as needed and marquee select faces you do not need. Shift drag to add to the selection set and then hit the delete key. You will get a warning box stating edits to the mesh will be lost. Hit OK. This standard resolution model looks great. If though for some reason you need a denser mesh, hit the mesh quality button, choose maximum, and let it reprocess one more time. We turned off the cameras and animation path earlier, and if you hit the create animation button, it will create a flyby video along this path. So. There you have a quick look at Photo Scene Editor 2, and I will say, in this example, it worked great. In the beginning of this video, I pointed out that there were some scratches in the figurine, and I said that I wanted to use that as a judge of how, what kind of detail we could get from this little experiment. I'd like to, you to notice that the uh, scratches on the back side come out very, very clearly in this uh, video and the detail we achieved on this test amazed me. There is a couple of bugs still to work out, but overall I would say, well done Autodesk. In our next test, we will take it out in the neighborhood and see how it works there.